Hi guys. Hey, we're really grateful to have games. You know, it's a uh, it's a huge honour to play in the Six Nations like this, and uh, to come away with two wins from three games after a big spell uh, with the. Massive dedication from a 40-plus squad, players, management. It, you know, we're really pleased with the, this result um, before a six-week break for us. So, yeah, we're, 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 look, we're in a position where we appreciate that we have games. Indeed, you're, like, you're, you beat the number five in the world, 18 months out from the World Cup. Is, is that where you want to be? Uh, you know, where we want to be is something around our private success. We're, we're, a, we're a squad that's building. And we've needed to add layers after such a long spell, um, over eight months of a highs and lows that we've experienced from a sort of a, a private experience that only ourselves will know. So the reality is, you know, from a results wise, two wins from three against three really tough opposition um, is positive. But at the same time, we're now aware of where we need to 100% be a bit more accurate. Uh, leading into the next block after that six-week break. Thanks, Hi, Sanic. Hey, Gav. Um, Thanks, mate. What happens in six weeks time? So we, we'll have a break after this. Um, it'll give us a chance to reflect on, you know, the, the journey that we've been through and then to reassess and be focused on then the next block, which will head into what is something that all of us have been working towards, which is the World Cup qualifier. So, so do you expect to play the World Cup? Uh, not at all, not, not in that short, in terms of like, you know, in six weeks we'll reassemble in terms of, you know, working towards, uh, working hard to make the squad in the first place. So all of us will be competing for places in that, in that national squad all over again. You know, it's something that um, each of us pride ourselves on how competitive the squad is to then make that squad as then the build on to the, the World Cup qualifier towards the end of the year. Yeah, you know what? There's 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 no need to panic on certain things. When we when we came up against a team like France, you know, who 100% are one of the best in the world, um, it's the pressure we've needed to execute certain things. And at times, games scores don't reflect the performance. It only takes a couple of errors, and we've needed those games to understand where it is that we need that that level of detail and to execute under pressure. So, you know, apart from from that. We're building quite well in terms of, you know, today we needed to turn a page from last week and we felt that we did that in most parts, certainly not all the parts. You know, there's certainly things, you know, let alone the skills um, from a discipline point of view that we're well aware of that we need to be a bit better. Um, yeah, but certainly we've come on, I think, and I believe actually, you know, it's it's around everything with our programme, you know, with the players, we, I 100% believe we have the squad depth, we have quality coaching and we have the facilities with the roof over our head where we can actually practice that more than we probably could ever before and so we're on a journey where we're building and we've needed these three games to execute and to also not execute so we know where we go, we know where we've gone wrong and we know where to be better so this championship while it's been a huge honour it's actually served its purpose for then the next block after the six week break for us to refocus and build again on our journey that we're going on. Thanks, enjoy your break. Cheers, Gav. Thanks, mate. Thanks, Ashlyn. How are you? How would I sum it up? Are you happy with how it went? Yeah, I would sum it up as that we achieved two wins from three, which was our target. So I would deem it as a private success for us, but as an opportunity that we always expected, that we needed to understand where we were as a squad 
uh, based against, you know, based on the opposition, and we know where we need to be better at and to work on coming into the end of the year with the, the uh, World Cup qualifiers. Look, I think some things went our way and others didn't and we probably grew through that period. Like there was a huge hype around the first match and it, it went our way, the second match didn't and we finished with a win. So it was a bit of a roller coaster but we finished on the right side of it and look we have a huge eighteen months ahead of us, so this is a good time to look back and review at what we did well, what we didn't do well and how we can become better as a team. What did you feel you learned yourself? Um well, I suppose I hadn't really played 80 minutes of international rugby before this campaign, so just full 80 minutes of international senior senior rugby was um, was definitely an adjustment, but I uh, I loved it. Yeah, and um, just there was a lot of mistakes today. Um, can you put your finger on what it was? Adam said that it might have been these were just so eager to atone for the week before, but yourselves, I presume you have a higher standard just with fundamentals and that. But what was your take on it? Because there's just a lot of handling errors. What's your feedback on that? To be honest, like mistakes happen. It's how you recover for them and from them, and how we then look at our own pro processes and go again. Like errors happen, we always review it, but it's we don't get bogged down by it. Fine, we had mistakes, but we won the game, so we'll look at that after. Fair enough. Thanks. No Thank you. That we have such a like a quality team in general. Oh, hugely! I think it's such a great team, and you can trust every single player on the pitch. Um, I back every girl in in that squad and in the wider squad as well to do a job for us. Um, you're asking me how it changed around the combinations? Oh, perfect. It was um, like obviously it's a big blow losing your captain very early in the game, but the way that we train and the way we know each other, like Hannah slotted right in and it made it seamless for us all. And personally, love playing with her, so it was a huge blow to have Junior gone. And I think we were all like, oh god, like, but Hannah came in and absolutely smashed it, so couldn't be happier. Oh yeah, up tip. There you go. What a county, the Premier County. you were sprung off the bench pretty early. You know, what what was that like when you got out there? Yeah, it's a bit of a blur, I suppose. You're you're on the bench and you know that you could be called upon at any time, and your job, I suppose, is that impact sub is to be ready and be ready to slot in as best you can, as quick as you can, and make th make sure that things keep rolling in the same way so that you can bring your impact. But yeah, it was obviously a surprise to come on as early as it was, but it kind of happened in a blur, and you have no time, I suppose, to process it because you're straight into it, which is which is a plus as well. Yeah, some, some people compare a, a, a top class rugby team to a machine and that you can replace a part, put another part in and the machine keeps going. Do, do you think the, the Irish women's rugby team is getting there? But look, this is the thing, Dorothy mentioned it there, like it's having the strength and depth, like we have an incredibly competitive squad at the moment and the, the competition for places right through 1 to 15 is fierce and that's what you want and we our job as a bench replacements or anybody else between that 1 to 40 can come in and do a job and that's what it is to keep pushing each other. So yeah, we're trying to be as adaptable as possible for those changes because you never know what can happen in a rugby game. Well done today. Thanks a million. Obviously, just, just been some disappointing times in the last few weeks, but you did hit your, your goal was two wins from three. So, 
Is, are you happy to settle on that, or would you be a bit more critical internally, or where are you kind of at after it all? Ah, look, we'll always be critical. We're 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 a squad that's you know young, enthusiastic, and the passion is there. So the drive that we have to always improve. Yeah, on paper, it's two wins from three, and that's fantastic. And the learnings that we'll take from every game, whether it's a win or not, even today, will be massive for us. And you know, we just want game time. We just want to play because there's nothing like match match repetition and match reps to get you up to speed so it'll really stand to us and like big 18 months ahead and it's definitely good to build on two wins out of three and we'll we'll obviously review and preview going forward and build from that then yeah yeah so you, do you feel like uh, just put more pressure or does it ease the pressure now with the qualifiers coming up now there's an ex expectation for you to to beat all these teams because you're considered the third best in europe you know um, and that's on merit so well, how, how do you handle that or Ah, look, it's a bit of white noise from outside. We don't. We're a very tight knit. That, as I said, one to forty. We're concerned with what goes on within the the four walls of what we do on the pitch and in our reviews, video sessions, everything else. So yeah, nobody gets too carried away whether it's a win or a loss. There's no kind of yeah, it's there's ups and downs to it. But the drive is so much, and the focus on the next job, the next job. So yeah, look, definitely not something that we're getting carried away with or too worried about. Thanks. Well done. No, but thanks a million. Hey, how are you? Yeah, I suppose that was my Six Nations debut. It had obviously been a kind of a almost a year from the previous one, kind of the way things went. Yeah, you obviously are looking back on things and you hope to improve all the time. But yeah, I do feel like I've progressed a good bit since then. You look back on some of the, the kind of errors you make, <laughs> you, you might cringe a bit, but no, definitely progressing all the time and the, the level of uh, kind of competition and intent within our training sessions is brilliant. But the, the match the match reps over the last three games has been brilliant and hopefully will stand to me now going forward as well. So yeah, been delighted. Oh, no, I think you've played in the six, uh, six positions as well, but the number eight today, is that kind of, that kind of where, where you kind of uh, feel, feel like home is close at the most? Yeah, look, you try to be as versatile as possible, but eight would be probably be the main one. But the usual, like anybody would happily step up and do whatever job. If it meant you were getting it in a green jersey, you'd you'd do whatever was needed. And uh, so, when you go on the stage, you probably look like you fancy maybe having the getting the ticket in. So obviously, that's that's something that's in your locker as well. Yeah, it's in it's in the locker, but no, I definitely wouldn't be taking the the tea off them in games like today. Yeah, it would fancy it at times, but it definitely wouldn't be something I'd be uh, taking off them. They're flying it. The girls are so yeah, it's it handy to have the left-footed options in the team as well, which is brilliant.